there, welcome back to Spoken Wheels on Wheels. I'm back to posting a video every week on Wednesdays and so this week because I don't have any content, van life type content because I'm not in my van yet, I hope to be back uh, traveling by hopefully around February 20th. But uh, for now, I'm gonna just post a video about a hotel that I stayed in back in November. I needed a bit of a break and I um, was coming back from a memorial service for somebody and uh, decided to stop in Penticton and get a hotel there for a night. So I stayed at the Days Inn. Um, it was a really nice hotel and a really nice room and I just thought, you know, I always appreciate when there's reviews on hotels that are sort of uh, vlogs like this that talk about what the pros and cons of the suite are for as far as wheelchair access goes. So I decided that I'm going to post an, uh, one on this one. I've done that a few times in the past, and so that's what I'm doing today. So enjoy the video. Let's start with the size of this room. It's really nice size. So this is one of the first problems with this hotel room being a hotel room that's made for wheelchair access. It's lovely to have a door that goes out into the backyard, but this door helps if I unlock it first. It's very stiff to unlock, so if you have troubles with your hands, that's really hard to get unlocked. And it's really heavy. And it's spring-loaded, which is good, but like I said, really heavy and I'll just quickly show you the outside. There's a pool but I'm, it's too wet and I'm not going out to see if there's actually a ramp up to there. But nice fully enclosed courtyard. I had to have the maintenance man in here at one point because the shower nozzle fell down and I'll show you that after but I just wanted to point out that or say that um, he said that they're new owners and they are actually working on improving the place um, it's a bit run down like there's a pool in the wallpaper over there and the carpet not exactly it's stained um, not exactly great for uh, wheeling around this floor you can't tell from looking at it, but there's, when you go to the bed, you're going uphill to that nightstand. Same with when you go over to the sink, you're kind of going uphill to the sink. Um, but it's not terrible. The carpet is, well, it's not a thick, luxurious carpet. It's one of those ones that's really hard to wheel through. So um, I plan to suggest to them that when they do the renovations that they don't put carpet in but that they put vinyl in or something like that. Anyways, as you can see, it is a really nice room. So normally sinks are not. See how level my shoulder is with that, with the sink? It's great when you're brushing your teeth because you can lean right over the sink very easily. But I have bad shoulders and a lift like this is quite hard on it. Um, so having a sink that high is not great. It's really great for knee clearance, but um, so it's kind of a preference thing, I guess, what you like. I don't personally like it. <laughs> this is the bathroom. Sorry, my, my uh, camera thing is quite loose. So the toilet is really low to the floor, but they have this, which I actually really, really like. It's bolted onto the floor, so um, it's really solid. There's not really anywhere to place medical supplies or anything in here, but that's okay. The rim of the, t of the tub is low, which I like because when I'm getting down into it, it's like a step down in so that when I'm actually inside, it's not as high of a lift to get back out. And because my shoulders, I do have trouble getting out. It has this handheld shower, which is hanging down there from up there. Actually, it was placed up there, which hotels 
never seem to get that, you know, if there's somebody in a wheelchair staying there, they're not gonna be able to get that down. I started knocking it with my camera tripod and the whole thing fell off and I had to get maintenance here. Um, but it's one of those rain showers and it looks like the adjustment for the pressure is way up there. So it was on high pressure, uh, which I didn't like and there was no way to adjust it. But if you want my whole opinion on this room, I actually think it's amazing. This is one of the better rooms ever. It just needs a few things. And if they're already doing renovations, then maybe they can work on some of those things and maybe it will be better soon. And also very affordable, $96 a night. It's November, so it's definitely off season, but uh, I'm liking the price too. The bed is a perfect height. I've actually just recently purchased a sliding board because the bed that I bought for my house is too high, even though I measured everything. But you can see that it's the same height as my knees. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's a really, and it's a comfortable bed. The pillows are all kind of squishy and small, but not on that bed. Oh, I should have traded the pillows. Some of the ones on this one are very small and squishy. And the last thing I want to show you is the door jam. It's uh, smooth, but it's very high. And if you have stuff on your knee and you have the little front casters on your wheelchair, it's pretty difficult, especially with the heavy door. Uh, one other thing about this room that's really nice is it's about, I would say about a 12 minute wheel to the beach. And the beach, I'm, I think there was ramps down onto it. It's winter, so I'm not really going down there, but. I did wheel along the beach walk and it's all follows the lake and it's all paved and very nice and across the street are shops and restaurants and this is only a block, this hotel is a block away from a Starbucks which is nice and Edo's restaurant, um, a quality greens if you need groceries. So good hotel. I'm, I actually really want to come back here. I don't think I want to come back in the summer because as you could see how close the pool was to the to the door there. Um, I think it would be really noisy and kind of party atmosphere. I think Penticton's kind of known for that anyways. Uh, but for this time of year, perfect. And I've just had a really enjoyable stay here. And that, just to remind you, I think I said it at the beginning, is at the Days Inn in Penticton.